Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Uh, this week we leave Esperance, go to Duke of Orleans, and there for a couple of days, and up to Kalgoorlie, back to Perth. Uh, we spend a night on our block, and we'll show you one of our passions before we started traveling. And we've also been working on a little project that we are going to share with you towards the end of the video, so please stay tuned and go through to that piece. And um, yeah, the recipe that we asked you to select last time, we have uh, the, picked the one that was the most popular, so that will be at the end as well. So yeah. Hope you enjoy. So we're just pulling into Duke of Orleans, and it's um, a little bit further on from Esperance and it wasn't actually part of our original plan to come here but we got told by a few people while we were at Lucky Bay that it was worth the trip so we've booked a couple of nights at the Duke of Orleans Caravan Park and this is just us pulling up now and we're going to quickly set up and we've got a very small window of nice weather so we're going to quickly set up and then jump straight out and explore and have a look around while the sun's still out. Where are we? I think it's called Rock Rock Falls. Oh, yes, you know. Near Duke of Orleans. I didn't see a sign. We'll have a look on the map. From uh, back of Wharton Beach, I think. Cool. Sure. Water looks cool, but the sun's not out to make it look all pretty and aqua. No. Can you do a cartwheel on the beach? I didn't know how to do a cartwheel when I was 15, let alone 40. <laughs> what do you mean you can't do a cartwheel? I can't do a cartwheel. Have you never been taught? Huh? Have you never been taught? No. <gasps> oh, we need to do this. <laughs> we have a challenge. Let's do a cartwheel on the you beach. Do a cartwheel. I know how to do a you cartwheel. Had a, you had a sore back from doing jumps on the beach the other day. <laughs> I know how to cartwheel. Is that right? Just because you know how doesn't mean you still can. Of course I can, but <gasps> what a... I think that we need to teach you how to cartwheel on the beach. Is that right? Yeah. All right. Show me what I'm working with. Do you have any idea how to do it? No. <laughs> if you made it 41 years without being able to cartwheel. No, it depends on what kind of cartwheel you want. <laughs> Can I show you? Yeah, go. Well, I haven't done it for quite some time. Oh, so now you're backing out. <laughs> <laughs> Getting serious, I'm going to take my tan here. I'm going to take my tan here because no one needs to see that. <laughs> and you want me to do it? <laughs> Your turn. What do you start with one arm? Yeah, go left. Yep. That one. Huh? Left arm first. Left arm? Yeah. You can just try it and you just put your feet up like a little ball to practice to start before you do your legs straight. I don't even know if I can do it. Oh, there's going to be a hell injury going on here. Wait, wait. You can do it like this. Just the little one, like the baby one. You can hurt yourself. <laughs> yeah! Now you just got to do it while you're straight. Yes! That was almost perfect. You probably did better than mine. <laughs> Score out of 10. It's the Olympics of cartwheeling. <laughs> 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 
success, cartwheel on the beach. Broken wrists. <laughs> you know how we climbed the mountain and we weren't sore? Guess what is going to happen tomorrow? Yeah. <laughs> We're not going to have to move. Walk down to the beach. Hey. Walk down to the beach. Yeah. Get a photo. <laughs> We just need that sun to come out for a split second to see how amazing that colour will be. What's this called again? I think it's called Nears. Got the trusty map out. I think it's Secret Beach. It's got herring written there, but I assume that means there's fish there. <laughs> That's the boat ramp behind Chris. Not sure if I'd be keen to launch my boat out of that ramp. Of a boat <laughs> hey. After our cut whirling, I've got the biscuit. <laughs> Told you you'd break your wrist. Oh. <laughs> limp biscuit. <laughs> a limp noodle. Hey, I don't got no limp noodle. Have you got a limp noodle? Not yeah, at the moment. Okay, so last night we arrived very late, well not very late, on dusk, into Kalgoorlie because uh, I really want to see the super pit, heard all about it, you can't live in WA and not see the super pit. So we are jumping in the car now and we are going to go and see what it's all about. So we've just arrived at the Kalgoorlie Super Pit lookout. And we'll go and see how big this hole really is. Big hole. Get them all working down there. What's this? Pink sh oh, they've got a pink shovel. <laughs> doesn't turn over. <laughs> Bogger. Why are these like mini scales? Or is this real size? Why does it say side to the railways? Oh, Underground thing. Bogger. Jumbo. Oh, Jumbo. Does it make you miss mining? No. <laughs> Not even a little bit. You get to be the tourist instead of the worker. <laughs> oh, it's hot. We just finished at the super pit. Time to see the big hole. <laughs> it's the biggest hole we've ever seen. <laughs> Seen all the bits of equipment there. It's good because they had like little signs to explain what I was looking at. I know you know, but I don't know. We just missed the blast, unfortunately. Uh, it was last night. Blast, but it's a shame. It's good. Now we're off.
off to where are we off to now? Um, a sh a, it's a shed called where they play a game called Two Up, which we'd never heard of until we Googled it. And apparently, it's only one of two places in Australia where you're allowed to legally play this game any time that's not Anzac Day. So it's some sort of old war game or gold mining war game, and they do it on Sunday every Sunday apparently but today is Friday so there won't be anyone there but we're going to have a look anyway. See what it's all about. You've got to check these things out. We got distracted. We saw a sign as we are coming in. Mount Charlotte Reservoir, Water Reservoir or something. Water, hole, pipe. We're going to go have a look. Where they pump water from uh, Mount Mundaring Weir in Perth all the way up to Kalgoorlie. Piece of the pipe. That pipe, which is maybe six hundred mils. Is responsible for getting all of the water to everyone here in Kalgoorlie. There's the pipe down there. This is Kalgoorlie and it's water pipe <laughs> <laughs> and it's speaking tree attacking the roof. And the big water tank roof. Oh, it's got water. Not portable, do not drink. For display purposes only. That's a big hole. It's a big tank. If there was no lid on it. Can you imagine this drawing on a Sunday? It would be <laughs> packed. I wish we were here. It's going to be a day short, eh? That would actually be really interesting. Let's go check out what the shack looks like. It looks like a strong wind would blow it over. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh wow. It's got like a yeah, arena. Just imagine the shenanigans that went on here. I can't believe this is actually not blowing over in the wind. And is a legal structure. <laughs> Well, it's that they are allowed to do it here, so must be some kind of safe. And you're not allowed to drink according to the sign, so you can't pretend it's safe after your fifth beer. I'll have to Google it and see what they actually do. That looks like an arena or something. Two up. All I remember reading is it's something about two coins, yeah, like two gold, two, two coins. silver coins. I feel like there might be some fighting oh. going on. <laughs> Sumo coin wrestling. <laughs> we found the men's bathroom. <laughs> I've seen some long drops, but this one's oh. off, this one's off tap. You get a nice bush view <laughs> while you're on the bathroom. Is that the hand washing sink? <laughs> oh my goodness, I can't believe that's actually a real thing. Does it actually get used? I doubt it. Oh, it smells funky though. I reckon someone does use it. <laughs> we'll go check out the ladies. Yeah, we need more privacy. Same deal, but that's legit. Just a cyclone. <laughs> oh my goodness! Why is there bullet holes in it? It's an underflow. There's hole. There's underflow of a cyclone. Like someone's been shooting. Slug gun pellets or 22 shots. Huh? Oh, shotgun. shotgun 
Yeah, oh, there's a big one. Hunting rifle. Oh, look at all the cans. That's a bit disgusting. It's a shame. We're heading back to the caravan park now. We're just going to take the scenic route and have a look uh, down the main street of Kalgoorlie. And then, yeah, back for a bit of a rest for the rest of the day. Have to go and put our toes in the... <laughs> look at the way he's moving. So, did you see how he just turned there? You're like a stiff old man. T turn around and face me. <laughs> That is day three or four? Day four, I think we're at. Four, I think. Day four of after Chris did a cartwheel on the beach. I was emotionally pressured to do a cartwheel for the video. <laughs> and now I'm injured. <laughs> he literally still can't turn around. Every night he's had deep heat on it. Oh, my shoulder. Anyway. I knew that would be the result. <laughs> so you need to learn to start doing some yoga. But I was pressured by my wife. <laughs> Your giant wife that can dominate you. <laughs> anyway. Every man knows the pressure. <laughs> well, we're coming to check out the pool. Because it's warm and it's time for a swim. What's the temperature of the water? Ice. Between zero and ice. <laughs> I ain't getting in. It's too cold for me. What sort of graceful entry are you going to do? Three out of ten. You made a lot of splash. <gasps> Language. <laughs> oh, it's chilly. <laughs> Left Kalgoorlie this morning. Just come through Southern Cross, pulled in on the side of the road, stay here for the night. Hopefully, it's not too noisy with all the road trains and then we'll, booting uh, past. Head back to our block tomorrow. Why? To stay away from school holidays. School holidays. <laughs> We're gonna go hide. <laughs> <laughs> well, Everything is book solid. Stay on our block for a few days. Haven't seen it for a few months. Do a few chores around Perth. Yeah, I got the Everest booked in for a service and uh, a few other bits and pieces. And then head north. And then we're north. Find, find some sun. Got a little bit now. But... Yeah. Much nicer as soon as you leave south. All well, the weather stayed there. Time to fill up with some water. Pay for some water. It's not a bad idea, eh? It's a little pay station. How much per litre is it? Or how do we pay? Uh, dollar for like 270 litres. That's alright, eh? These are good. They should have them more often. You're the one that just squirted me. You squirted me first. By accident? Because <laughs> I was looking at the car going fast. You squirted fast. me. You squirted me on purpose. Well, I can do it again if you want. With malice. <laughs> Payback for the stupid cartwheel. <laughs> <laughs> Look, just because you're an old fuddy duddy and you can't do a cartwheel that a two year old can do. You're awfully smart for someone who's <laughs> not holding the hose. It's water weightlifting time. Oh, what right. is that, 20 kgs? Are they 20s? 20s. One in each arm, bicep curl on the way. Bicep curl. Alright, Come on, who needs a gym when you got water containers? And you should be a little stroppy because <laughs> the water hose wouldn't go in the hole. It's not my fault. <laughs> Shit don't work. We've just arrived back at our land. Just arrived on our block. The coolest thing about this is that we bought it and then we left to go caravanning. So we've actually never spent, I mean, there's nothing here, but we've never spent the night on our block. So this will be our first ever night living on our land. <laughs> <laughs> We've got to figure out where we're going to park first. We've got so much space, we don't know where to go. <laughs> this is so exciting. We're looking out over our own land. 
one of these days we'll get back here and we'll put up a house but hopefully this will be the direction we face the house too so this will be a view flipping regulation he's just told me <laughs> that i'm premenopausal because i was whinging no not whinging just whinging. telling no whinging. she got it right no it, he had the heater hot and it's not cold and i'm boiling i'm trying to like crack it's 12 degrees and i had it at 21. It was it was saying 21, but it was someone over here is cooking for no reason. <laughs> Maybe it's the coffee. <laughs> anyway, today today we are heading into Perth for a service. Service on the Everest. Never spent so much money on this car <laughs> since we've owned it. <laughs> Plenty more to come. Oh. So we're gonna head in and um, we've got a loan car for the day so we can do a few things around Perth. And then we've got a little, hopefully a little, uh, not really a surprise, a little trip. Something a bit different. Something a bit different to um, share with you today. Hopefully, because there's still multiple things that can go wrong. There's a few things that have to line up. <laughs> Either way, I'll film it. So it might be a happy or a frustrated filming to come. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Which one do we get? Funny looking You got a bubble car. This is a bit of a downgrade. You you wanted the Ranger and you got the bubble car. I wanted a new Ranger. Last time I came, they gave me the new Ranger, so it's your fault. Uh, <laughs> neck snapping power. How's your new wheels? <laughs> Horrid. <laughs> what even is this? A Ford what? I don't even know. A Ford grandma car. Ford, some something. Should go on there and see if we got a new Ranger. <laughs> There's something fun hiding under the blankets. You need to bring another pillow. Chop that all in. The unveiling. Look at the dust. Look at the dust on there. <gasps> Haven't seen these for a while. Cha-ching. Now. Now will they go? This is the question. This is a major question. Will they go twice? What do you mean twice? Do I just have to leave them running? Oh, I see. I guess it depends on how slowly they start. This is my 2015 Ducati Street Fighter. Uh, it's the 848 model. Um, pretty stock, really. I shipped it from over east. Not very many over here. Got the termies on here. That's pretty compulsory for a Ducati. Can't have a Ducati without termies. Uh, got a clear clutch cover with a slipper clutch in there. Um, got aftermarket handles and bits and pieces, but pretty stock and uh, this is our enjoyment good fun temporary Australians I think you guys call her <laughs> <laughs> so this is my Yamaha MT-09 900 um, it's a 2020 model and I've done about 10,000 K's and it's pretty stock apart from where is it? This. 
amazing noise that comes out of the exhaust since we had that replaced. Um, yeah, black stealth, stealth outfit, stealth rider. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much it. Refueling time. They don't have very big tanks, these bikes. How's it looking? Do you want to explain to the people what you're looking at? Not too bad. So, when we went on our ride the other day, oh. my front brake reservoir leaked. Brake fluid all over your paint. I got brake fluid on my paint, which is never a good thing. He was a very happy camper at the end of our ride. Luckily, I managed to get to a petrol station. Can you see anything? Off. You can just see where it was. Oh, very lucky. I was nearly going to cry. I had to come back today and have a little check up. I had to come have a check up. But it hasn't leaked anymore, so. I was sitting out in the sun for ages at my brother's house, so I think it, I think it got hot. But that's not normal, is it? Maybe. <laughs> what are you doing, you weirdo? <laughs> I'm hungry. <laughs> That's it for... That's it for another few months. At least. Maybe I can Christmas time, maybe? Christmas time ride, we'll be Christmas. learners again. Ooh, should be hot. Christmas time ride. Hopefully, fingers crossed, we're not back in Perth before Christmas. Because if we're back in Perth before that, something's gone wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I think we've had enough wrong things. Yeah, should I say something else has gone wrong? <laughs> Hey guys, we want to share something really exciting with you. Well, we think it's exciting. Um, in the last, what, three months, babe? About three months? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> pretty much since we started this. <laughs> uh, we've been putting together, well, one, our website, and two, uh, a private Facebook group, which we wanted to share with you today. So we had some requests earlier on about um, whether or not we had a Patreon account um, so people could support us along our journey. Uh, we don't. Uh, we are instead doing this Facebook private group. So I guess today we wanted to quickly share with you uh, what it is and how you can be a part of it and why you should join. Okay, first open up Google and in the URL you want to put our website which is lentalbitwiser.com.au and that takes you through to our new website. So while you're here, I'd love for you to have a look through. We've put a lot of work into this and um, like a builder's house, a designer's website's never done, but it's looking the part. So there's some blogs in there for you to read um, of our experiences as we go and some recipes. Obviously today's recipe, which will be next, uh, will be added in there shortly. At the top, you'll find Legends. If you click on that, it will take you through to the Legends page. And this is all the information about the group and what you what benefits there are for you joining the group um we've got them listed in the bullet points bef just below there you can push pause and have a good read through or better yet jump onto our website and read it on uh, direct from the site and if you think this is something that you would like to be part of hit the button and um, join so it is a paid group um, it is ten dollars a month to be part of the group you will see that it's an ongoing subscription which you can cancel at any time if you have any problems while you're trying to join, just send us an email or a DM and we will help you out. But apart from that, uh, welcome to the group. We can't wait to um, interact with you in there. Okay, so thank you so much for everybody that um, put a choice between the bolognese and the stew, um, as we asked in the last video. So uh, it was very close and between the YouTube comments and the social media, we have landed on Bolognese. So Bolognese it is today and we are going to go through the recipe um, and I'm not going to give you the exact measurements as I go because I don't cook like that. I just bang things together but I will put the exact measurements on the website so that you can follow along and um, make sure it tastes how it's meant to taste. So let's get started. 
Uh, first, we're going to quickly just uh, talk about the ingredients. So, um, being a bolognese, starting with bolognese sauce. This is the one that we use, but any sort of um, pasta sauce will be fine. Uh, smoked paprika. We've got butter, which is the vegan butter. So for those who are plant-based following along with us, uh, this is the brand that we enjoy. But if you're not plant-based, that's fine. Just normal butter. Um, vegetable stock cube, again, plant-based stock cube. Packet of basil because I'm in a caravan and I'm lazy and I don't want to cut up proper basil. So I just buy it in this little packet. Um, for the protein, because as we know, all plant-based people need more protein. Um, kidney beans and lentils, of course lentils, lentils every time. Um, sweet chilli sauce, soya sauce, oh, <laughs> little baby onion, uh, pasta. So I'm going to use penne pasta for this one, this is gluten free, obviously I'm celiac so you can just use normal pasta. Um, to be honest, the, I originally started this using spaghetti pasta. Um, you can use anything. I prefer this, so whatever floats your boat. And nutritional yeast, of course, it's uh, stable in most of our food. And good old salt and pepper. So yeah, let's get going. Okay, so this recipe uh, feeds Chris and I. It is quite a large serving. Um, so very easy to double the recipe if you've got a big family. But um, yeah, so first of all, quickly get into chopping the onion. A little trick that I learned that definitely works is a cup of water when you're cutting an onion stops you from crying. Uh, apparently it's something to do with the onion going to like the nearest wet surface, which is your eyes, which instead of your eyes is this. So little tip there. So this is one of Chris and I's favourite meals, and we pretty much have it once a week, eh? Once a week, yeah, at least. So. All right, so cut up onion and straight into the um, pan. The other reason we have it all the time is it's super easy. It takes 15 minutes from start to go till we're sitting down eating, and it pretty much just uses one pan plus the pot to cook the pasta. So super simple when you're in the caravan. All right, a uh, bit of butter now. As I mentioned, I'm not going to do exact measurements on the video, but you can find them on the website. So we're just going to chuck in a glop. And then, yeah, let's get that frying up. All right, well, that's frying up. Um, the longest thing it takes us to cook here is actually the pasta in the water. So pop, fill of water. Uh, Chris and I use about three quarters of the box of this. So put that in. And get that going while we carry on with this. Alright, so next up we would do the uh, lentils and the kidney beans. So I've actually already chucked them into the sieve and I've given them a pre-wash just to get all the can juice off. We don't like can juice. And then those can go straight in with the onions. Bit of a stir, just get that butter through. Next thing will be the sweet chilli sauce. It sounds a bit strange, but it uh, gives it just a little bit of kick, which is nice. Although not too much kick, because Chris hates spicy food. So yep. Don't like the spice. Just about a tablespoon. Roughly about that much. And then the same with soy sauce. A bit of a splash, splash and dash. Put that in there. Roughly two tablespoons, I think. <laughs> Give or take. And smoked paprika just to give it a little smokiness. Bit of a shimmy and a shake. Add in there. Um, we have our stock cube, so we'll chuck that in there. So I'm I, I know some people like uh, pre-dissolve them. I'm way too lazy for that. I like things to be fast and easy, so straight in there. Oh. <laughs> There's still water in that cup. Still had water in it. I did need a cup of water. I didn't really need to throw it over the bench. So a cup of water. And just straight in there. And then I just grab a spoon to break up that stock cube. Make sure he's all broken up. There we go. Stir that around. Get the flavour through. 
And then we have our, obviously our pasta sauce. So in this case, we've got basilico. <laughs> I can't open it. Oh, here we go. Got it. Muscles. <laughs> Straight in there. And obviously, it's a bit thick, so we chuck a bit of water in there just to get all the flavour out. Just like that. Then that. Give her a stir again. And finally, um, nutritional yeast. So we really love this stuff, so we're probably a little bit heavy handed. But for those plant based people, heaps of B12 in it, which is uh, something that we need a lot of. So really just go to taste, but I'm just going to sprinkle in there like that. And salt and pepper. Not too salty, just a little bit of salt. And lots of pepper. And last but not least, our basil. So some of the pasta sauces you can get the basil flavoured sauce, but I still add this over and above because I think fresh herbs really make um, your food taste uh, really good. So we'll sprinkle that in there. Fresh herbs out of a packet. <laughs> well, they're not dried is what I mean. Fresh <laughs> herbs, not dried herbs. Dried herbs are good too, but fresh herbs are better. But yes, it's out of a packet, smart bum. <laughs> And that is it. So if you want to have a quick look, it uh, will slowly thicken up as we wait for the pasta to cook. And that's that's really like as simple as it is. Okay, through the magic of video editing, we have jumped forward in time. We're now 10 minutes later and the pasta is cooked. So we are going to take that off the element and just quickly drain that. Without burning myself. Yeah, right, so in the strainer, um, trick to cooking pasta is you do not rinse it because uh, you want the starch to stay on there to um, stick to the pasta sauce. So just drain it and then I'm going to dump it straight into the pot with the sauce. Um, some people like to leave it plain but this allows the flavour to absorb through the pasta so definitely recommend mixing it all together. So everything's already cooked now so it is just really getting that flavour through. All right. Make sure the gas is off because I'm always worried that I'm going to blow the caravan up and we're going to die in some horrible fire. Because I'm a, what am I, a pessimist or an optimist? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> something like that. Glass half empty. Yeah, anyway. Um, yeah, so this is it. So we're just going to dish straight onto the plate. And like I said, this is enough for Chris and I. There's usually leftovers depending on how hungry Chris is. I'm pretty hungry. <laughs> Um, and I leave the sauce a little bit runny just so that the pasta stays nice and moist. Um, so yeah, bit of a serving there. Um, now this is optional, but we like to top it off with a little bit of extra nutritional yeast. Just sprinkle it on the top there. Uh, a little bit left over of the basil. I can get the packet open. Sprinkle it on top. And then nice salt and pepper just on top to finish it off. And yeah, that is it. So hope you really enjoy it. We know we've we've cooked this for a lot of people, and uh, so far we've had a hundred percent success rate. So we hope that doesn't change. And yeah, whether you're uh, plant based like us or you like to eat a bit of meat, that's fine. Um, but give it a go and let us know what you think. We'd love to hear. Okay guys, that's it for another one. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, we'd love to have you on board as a lentil legend. So get on there and explore that. And don't forget we've got discount codes for um, Olight and iCheck if you want 10% off either of those uh, brands. Make sure you like and subscribe and hit the little bell so you get notified for our vids. Yep, make sure you're ready for the next drop. And definitely chuck in a comment. We love all your guys' comments, so chuck them in there. See you next time. See ya. <gasps> it's good. Yeah.